What's important for a starting PhD student is to get into a good lab. Yeah. It has to be something that interests you. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to go into a lab where you, you think the whole thing's boring and you don't want to study yeah, that. True. But almost any subject, hmm. when you get into it, becomes totally fascinating. True. And so the important thing is to have a good mentor, a good lab where you're in a good environment with people you like and hmm. get on with and you can talk with. Because talking is important and learn the basic skills you need for doing science, which are the skills of doing an experiment, designing an experiment, designing the proper controls, um, asking good questions, and then writing it up in a way that's uh, uh, publishable. And that's what you need to learn as a graduate, as a graduate student. student. You need, need to learn the basic tools of doing science. It doesn't have to be the science you do for the rest of your life. It's always possible to switch yeah. after your PhD and do something quite different. But if you've got good training, say, in molecular science, you know how to do an experiment, you can go into all sorts of different areas and it'll stand you in good stead.